What mistakes were made early on? Um, we moved very deliberately and slowly. Um, that didn't turn out to be a mistake in the long run, but in the short run, it gave a lot of angst to a lot of people that first year um, as to whether we knew what we were doing. We thought we did. Uh, he thought he did. Um, and uh, it took some time to successfully put it all together. Um, the, we, the economy did turn around in New Jersey and nationally, but in New Jersey even more so. And our campaigns to enhance that economy continued to produce dollars. If I think the administration made any mistakes, during the first four years, we took all of those surplus dollars and invested them in one-time expenditures, not in ongoing programs, because they were surplus dollars. And um, in the second term, he tended to bow to the needs of the urban areas particularly and put dollars into ongoing programs in which the surplus would not always be repeated. And if you remember the savings and loan debacle at the end of Keynes' first term, the, the economy turned around and the revenues reduced and the surpluses weren't there. And the ability to fund those programs um, didn't, didn't continue. I thought we made bad judgments um, in the last four years on how we spent the excess revenues we were developing by a booming economy and or by budget surpluses and didn't um, by committing them to long-term projects. And Tom was torn during that period. I know because I, we talked about it a number of times. Uh, the problems that existed in Newark. I was doing the drug-free schools program. We were trying to put major educational programs within the schools. There were people in the boys and girls clubs in Newark who were also doing the same things and working to enhance those educational um, opportunities. Uh, Tom said, I can't sit here with these dollars and see that need and not do something about it. Um, so it was, was it a mistake? Physically it was a mistake? Was it a mistake? Uh, he would probably say it wasn't uh, because he was responding to what he thought were the priorities of those kids at that point in time and would work the rest of those problems out later. He was also believed, and this is interesting, you didn't have to have a perfect piece of legislation. Nobody should ever watch legislation being made, just like watching sausage. We usually have to do it two or three times before we get it right, legislation. Most major bills get amended to it. He was willing to live with um, a problem in a bill, knowing that he could come back later and would come back and fix it. He, the same thing would pop up on these issues of spending. He wanted to deal with the problem and see if there was a solution begun that he knew could evolve into a better one. The spending was a debate between good fiscal responsibility and his personal conscience or what he thought were real needs. He was a great believer in that the system would fix itself. If you have good people trying hard, they'll find a way. And we shouldn't be worried too much about, overly worry, take care of the problem in front of you today. Um, and um, uh, I used to scratch my head about that a little bit uh, because my, uh, I, my physical accountability was to be sure we had enough dollars to take care of all those people over a longer period of time. And we used to debate that issue. I don't know who was right. Even to this day, I don't know who was right. I can't say he was wrong, but uh, um, there, there is another side to that, that discussion.